Hey, hey, happy day. Recently, I interviewed a politician about uh, homosexuality. It was impossible to get a straight answer. I got more. Genders, they're just like political parties. There are many, but only two really matter. Ask a farmer. Two cows don't equal three. Well, kind of simple stuff, don't you know? One year, it's been one year since the uh, Taliban kind of said, hey, we won now, and Joe Biden took all of the American troops out of Afghanistan, and ever since then, the 30-some-odd million people that live there, they're in turmoil. I mean, these bad guys, the Taliban, they've come back in, and with just a sweeping whole bunch of power. Right? Bad wordage, but you get it. They said, hey, all you women, you're not allowed to go to school anymore, and you can't leave home unless you got somebody with you who's a man. You got to cover yourself up so nobody can see you, and you can no longer work. And that's kind of troublesome, you know, because they've been at war for almost four decades, right? That's a long time, and there's a lot of homes, a lot of households that uh, are led by a widow. She's the a bread earner, maker too, I guess, and now she's not allowed to go out and actually make money. What's up with that? I mean, so she's stuck at home, and what does she do? I mean, wow. This goes on and on. Is it all because of Joe Biden? Certainly a lot of it, because now the Taliban, they're stronger than ever. they got all kinds of gunnery and ammunition and so on, because the U.S. government left it behind, because they fled, and they did it quickly with Biden's thing going on is not very nice. Pakistan government now they're threatening to say, hey guys, we're going to take your digital ID and we're going to block it. And then you won't have access to your bank accounts and then you'll listen to us. How dare you not listen to us in the second place? Hey, what about the first place? That'd be Canada. The prime mistake there is saying these digital IDs, this is a neat idea. We can control our people even more because it's another step into where I want to go with a big step. So he's talking about doing it. And you got Pakistan that's already showing people the world what they do, what government does with that overreach with all that power. And now you have the Canadian government, U.S., don't go invade other countries. Don't go back to Afghanistan. Invade Canada, for heaven's sakes. Don't you see what's going on there with the people? The humanoids are getting pounded every day. You have this... I, don't, I can't even call them socialist anymore or communist. I don't know what it is. Well, I pick a word, but they're, they're just they're smothering their people. They're smothering their own people. They hate their own people. And they're doing everything they can to take power away from them every day. And this digital ID thing is just another step in that direction. It's bad. Just bad. Donald Trump. His suits that he wears, and it ain't the suit I'm wearing, let me tell you, but his suits, I just found out, and I thought it was kind of interesting, they cost $45,000. <laughs> Who would have thunk? That's okay. He's got the money. He made the money. Go spend it. You help the economy. How many people had to work to produce that suit? Probably many. They only make 100 of them a year. Kind of like a Porsche car or something. But anyway, 45 grand. I got his red tie, and that didn't cause me very much. Hey, just saying, government bureaucrats. And this is Canada. They do take you to the cleaners. That kind of goes with the suit. Ho, ho. Anyway, in Canada, you have an organization called the Canadian Taxpayer Federation. They're a great organization. They talk about things that need to be talked about. They get in there and down and dirty, and they find out things that what the government does with the taxpayers' money, the waste and the abuse. It's amazing the things that they do find out. They have recently said this. 312,815 federal government employees received a pay raise during the pandemic and all during the lockdowns. They got a raise. The Bank of Canada handed out $45 million in bonuses and pay raises during the pandemic. And their job is to keep inflation low, of course, and it went way, way up. And so they got paid for that. Kind of reminds me of so many government agencies. You know, you do a bad job and we reward you. We give you more money. The Canadian or Canada, rather, Mortgage and Housing Corporation gave its employees nearly $60 million in bonuses during the pandemic when businesses were closing and many have not survived and, and others are on the verge of not surviving still. And, and you got these bozos that are doing this stuff and pay raises despite this is the Canadian or Canada, what is it, Mortgage and Housing Corporation, despite failing to meet its objective of housing affordability. And then, of course, is the Canadian uh, Communist Broadcasting Corporation, the CBC, and uh, they handed out $51 million in bonuses. They've never made money. They lose money every year. And uh, during the pandemic, they said, hey, you guys, we're doing a great job. We're losing more than ever. So they handed out $51 million in bonuses. Do you think that's fair? <laughs> It's not fair. It's unfair. So what else isn't fair is we have all of these people leading us in different countries. 
wow, it's uh, like Bozo. I mean, it's a circus and we have all the clowns in charge. We got to get rid of the clowns. It ain't funny anymore. Uh, the only joke that I know about, that's a good joke, I guess, or a bad joke is politicians that run these countries that are trying to run us into the ground. Hey, y'all, come back. That's my whining for the day. How do we fix it? Don't just complain. Let's have a fix. Get rid of all these people. Shut the circus down. Hey, we used to like circus and we don't anymore. Get rid of these guys. See ya. Come back. We'll have more for you from the right in a couple of days.